Hi, I'm Mike. I'm sitting here with Dave Hoover from Groupon, uh, Nate of Tiva. Uh, he's the founder of GeekFest, a, uh, a user group, uh, kind of an internal group that started at Optiva and has grown and now it's migrated over to Groupon. So, hi Dave, thanks for... Hey Mike. Hi. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about GeekFest and, and its origins and kind of where it is today? Sure. Um, we started GeekFest in 2007 at Optiva. It actually didn't start as anything official. It was just, it was actually an official uh, study group. We were <laughs> studying uh, Ruby refactoring. Uh, a draft of the book that was being worked on at the time and there was uh, about three apprentices and a kind of part-time contractor, uh, Victoria Wang, at Optiva at that point and it was just a time for the, us to sit down and um, get away from our code a little bit. And yeah, you were doing Java most of the time. Uh, actually at that time it was, uh, we were all learning Ruby. So yeah. I'd been doing Ruby for a number of years but that was like my first like full-time year in Ruby. Okay. This was 2000. Actually, I guess it would have been the year before that. But anyway, um, it was. It started as a study group around this book. But as time went on, um, we just, it just kind of morphed into more um, general discussion. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, we'd have people from Optiva who were out at clients come in and give talks. Mm -hmm. I remember when Andy came and gave a talk on Scala later in 2007. And we, we, that just, we got into a habit. Um, we would just all go out and grab sandwiches from like Jimmy John's or something right. beforehand and then come back and, and, uh, and either like hack on code a little bit, mm -hmm. like fun code, or we'd discuss a book or we would um, have a presentation. So um, it sounds kind of like an auspicious beginning to something that's now a packed house in, in right. many conferences. I mean, like I, I've, I've noticed that over the years that like lots of development shops have like, it's a healthy thing to have like a lunch and learn. Mm -hmm. Um, but like like you're saying, it's it's morphed. Yeah, I mean, even bit. the years that I've gone, it's gone from being a few people around a table to a filled room to the room is overfilling, and that's just when it was still a Tiva. It's just kind of interesting though when you started to open up. Uh, I mean, I, I remember coming before I joined a Tiva, uh, coming to Geek Fest, mm -hmm. and and it, it wasn't quite public, but it wasn't well, totally. Yeah, I mean, so ever since the very beginning, we were, we've always been open to outside people, people that weren't at Optiva and, and now at Groupon. Um, we've always been open to people coming. It's just we haven't ever had a huge reason to promote it a lot. We still don't because we still don't. We're, we always run out of room right. uh, very quickly. Um, so yeah, it's always been it's always been available to anybody. Um, a pretty about a year after we've been we were doing it, we did a bunch of kind of feedback and surveys. For people inside of Optiva, and quickly realized that Geekfest had become this very, very important part of what we were. Um, and at that point, we were like, "Okay, well, this has actually become like this kind of perk benefit sort of thing, and so we should actually start um, buying lunch. But right. let's get out of this habit of people having to run out and grab lunch and come back. Let's just get lunch ordered." Yeah. Um, so we started doing that, and that still goes on today. Um, we buy lunch for about 80 <laughs> people or so, or sometimes over that. Um, and some uh, some people from the outside. It's not just uh, internal only, um, and that's one of the things with the acquisition. It, it went from being, uh, you know, a, a tight knit group that had kind of uh, formed its own identity around right. GeekFest, and it was something I can speak to this that was of great concern coming into Groupon and getting acquired by a larger company. I mean, most outside user groups are kind of independent and they they operate whereas. GeekFest was really uh, identified with Optiva and, and seeing Optiva get acquired. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and you persevered through that, even though I, I was really worried. But it, it has grown, it has changed. Um, yeah, it's definitely changed. You know, what, what do you think uh, is, is keeping, uh, that, it's, it's st that it's still GeekFest? I mean, why do you think that, uh, even though it's so much bigger now, that it's still how are you keeping the spirit? Is what I'm so to yeah, I think um, the the spirit of Geekfest has always been a place. But it grew into the spirit of Geekfest started off as just like some people learning some stuff together. Mm -hmm. um, um, but over the years, it, I think the most consistent theme or, or spirit has been a place to go, a fairly safe place to go and, pr and tr practice mm -hmm. presentations. 
or, 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 or use this group as a sounding board um, for ideas or open source projects. Um, I think with the size now, it's more intimidating. I've always wanted it to be a place where a new, a new presenter could come and do their first talk oh, yeah. um, to kind of get some safe. of their jitters out. Um, it's, it's, there's still people willing to do that as first time mm -hmm. presenters or as young presenters. Um, but it's certainly more um, intimidating nowadays. Yeah. With like a room of 80 people. Yeah. It, like I was saying, it's almost like being at a mini conference right. now. Then. Uh, but I mean, that said, like we have an 18 year old presenting next week right. um, on yeah, apprenticeship. Like so um, I, I'm happy about that. I'm also happy that people like Chris McAvoy and um, Adrian, Hol how, how do you say his last name? Holavati, <laughs> um, came over the last in the in the last month and kind of presented either well they presented their their projects their right. open source projects um, whether open badges or Django mm -hmm. um, and and Adrian came and I loved Adrian's talk because it I it wasn't fully baked right, right? Uh, he was like saying this is something I'm working on mm -hmm. I'm interested in people's reactions to this and that's the perfect use of Geekfest as a place to like get your ideas out there and and. Uh, engage you know community interest yeah and it that's one of the histories of geek Fest i remember is that people weren't afraid to give their opinion and say right. i don't know about what you just did yeah so i think that's one thing we need to we, like now that it's been about how long has it been eight months i think since the acquisition yeah. um we need to do a little bit better job of uh, people speaking up more mm -hmm. and interrupting and asking questions and giving their opinions um like like we had a pretty good we had a pretty thing good, good thing going with that yeah um, about a year ago. Yeah, and I can say, you know, kind of one of the, my favorite memories was uh, Brian Merrick coming out and doing mm. his um, hands-on where we pretended to be a computer program. Uh, I was a button, I said click. And uh, uh, and we had messaging and, and things, and it was a, a lot of fun. And it was a practice uh, for him to go to, I think it was one of the Agile conferences, where he was going to work with business users to, so they could understand some of the complexities. Right. When, uh, so that, that's like a favorite memory of mine from my Geek Trust. Do you have any like that kind of... Oh, favorite memories? Um, good question. I mean, Adrian's talk um, a week ago was yeah. definitely a highlight for me. Like, there was literally people standing outside of the room looking through the glass wall, <laughs> um, hoping to pick up what he was talking about. Um, and the fact that like probably 95% of the people in the room were all Rubyists, mm -hmm. listening to a guy from, from, from the Python, Python community, obviously, uh, was great. Um, I mean, just thinking back, I remember uh, our old friend Fred Polgardi mm -hmm. just being like a superstar of GeekFest yeah. in terms of like being a critical thinker and asking people to think through things and asking tough yeah. questions. Yeah, he, he's, he's tough um, like that. So I'd love to see him at a GeekFest again soon. but. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know. It's just I'm just proud that it's just continued to go. Um, I think a lot of that comes from um, what well, we we have our apprentices uh, or organize it, mm -hmm. um, and I think they they provide a lot of enthusiasm about the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, and that is an interesting thing to bring up. That it's it's not just uh, uh, something that you manage or or somebody else. It's something that helps bring the apprentice appren apprentices gives them an investment in the community. I think that's kind of it's, I, I'm, I'm interested that you know uh, you have like Ethan who you know now runs and helps with the Windy City DB. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be interviewing him uh, next week. Cool. I'm gonna ask him about Geekfest and how maybe that might have given him an introduction to community leadership. Sure. Uh, sure. So now, yeah, when he was doing, it, I don't know if if he was responsible for it back then. And I think we might have. He was. Oh, was he? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, it all blends together. <laughs> but actually, like thinking about one. I, maybe the, the easiest for me highlight would have been we had three of our past apprentices uh, kind of go, come and give a talk to future apprentices. Right. Um, which actually, I guess Ethan didn't, wasn't there for that. But um, anyway, uh, that was definitely a highlight to have that kind of full circle sort of talk. Okay. And just so people know that it's uh, Geek Fest is here at Groupon uh, in Chicago, 600 West. Uh, every Tuesday, you can go to the Gathers Us site to sign up for that or follow GeekFest on uh, Twitter and see what's coming up. Yep. GeekFest.GathersUs. GeekFest.GathersUs. I'll have yep. a link. Cool. All right. Thank you very much, Dave. All right. Appreciate Thanks, it. Mike.